Hi, I'm Mike with Baby Lock. If you're a garment sewer, one of the things that you're gonna really love about the Radiance is the fact that we now have what we call our buttonhole preview. Now this is going to allow you to do a lot of that buttonhole alignment and buttonhole guide marking on the actual bed of the machine as opposed to having to pull out extra tools. So once you've actually gone into the sewing screen and you've selected one of your buttonholes, you're gonna see that up at the top, you actually have your projector and you have your guideline marker icon. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the guideline marker icon. And you're gonna see that on the screen, I get a lot of information that's popped up along with a lot of different settings that I can adjust. But if we move over to the actual bed of the machine, I'm gonna lower my foot. You notice that I have that A plus foot on, so it's still the A plus foot that we're familiar with. And I've got it open as if I have a button in that A plus foot. But if you look at the fabric here, you'll notice that I have some very distinct markings that are actually showing up. So the purple line that you see here, this is actually going to be the center line of my buttonhole that I stitch. This orange line that you see here is going to be aligned with the edge of my fabric. If you look over on the side, you're also gonna notice that we have horizontal lines that are coming out from the edge of the foot. In just a second, I'm gonna reach up here and turn my projector on. And what you're gonna see with the addition of the projector is now I'm actually seeing my projected image of my buttonhole. So this is the buttonhole that I'm ready to stitch at this point. You'll notice that at the bottom of the buttonhole, there's a straight line, at the top, there's a dotted line. If I move down to the next set of markers, you'll notice that there is a straight line and a dotted line. So as my settings are currently set, this is where my next buttonhole would be. So I would stitch this buttonhole out and then I would move it so that the buttonhole that I just stitched is gonna line up with either the top or the bottom reference points. Now you can adjust all of these reference points here on the screen. You're gonna notice that first of all, I can come in and say, hey, do I wanna do horizontal alignment or do I want to do vertical? Right now we're in vertical. I can come in and adjust my spacing. So you'll notice that for the green line, the spacing on my bed of my machine, this is that next buttonhole that would be below or above. If I want to spread those out, I could use the plus minus here to adjust that distance greater than 50 millimeters. Now, one thing to know about this is it's gonna be in metric the entire time that you use it, but once you hit an imperial measurement, it will show you both the metric and the imperial, okay? And then down below that, you're gonna see the, the orange guideline marker. This is my distance from the edge. So if I wanted to actually move this out to line up with where I have it now, I could do so just by using my plus minus. Or if I raise my presser foot, I can actually align that edge beam with the edge of my fabric so that I've got it nice and lined up, lower my presser foot again, and now you can see that that guideline marker is actually lined up with the edge of my fabric itself. I think this is going to be a huge plus for all of my garment makers out there, and I can't wait to see what you do with it.